We're gonna build a monster right now on Buzzfeed dot quiz. Welcome. Oh, we're st oh we're starting already. I yeah. I mean whatever. So do it I'm again. Gonna... Let's do it again because I had no idea. Ready? So we're doing a quiz on Buzzfeed. We're doing Buzzfeed quizzes. We ran out of ideas. We decided to do a Buzzfeed quiz, and the first one that we're gonna do is build a monster. And we will tell you your deepest fear by the wonderful Cassie Smith with a Y, world renowned BuzzFeed reporter. Cassie, she knows Smith. she knows the things that I can't even admit to myself. Yeah, like who is gonna tell me that my deepest fear is actually a a, a dragon slime bit boy? Let's see. All right, choose a texture. Uh, furry. Very obvious. Definitely. <laughs> uh scaly scaly yeah. yeah i'm going scaly uh, i went with i went with furry because because that's scary anyway yeah, that's choose a color yeah. uh uh i i like pink you like pink i, I like, like pink. or magenta i guess i like blue blue is nice too um, there's a habitat obviously under the sea Obviously, it is just behind me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It makes the that? most sense. It makes the most sense, you know. Use some limbs. All right. So I think uh, a furry thing with wheels would be fun. So yeah, do furry thing with wheels that's always behind me. <laughs> that's that's what we're working with so uh, far. I'm. Choo I'm gonna have to go with no legs on this one. No legs. Yeah. It hey. Feels feels good. Choose a power. Uh, wonderful invisibility. Well, uh, we're gonna fight this good. thing, right? Is that what is that what we're dealing with here? A monster? I don't think so. I think I think we're just projecting. I think we're just projecting our deepest fears. But I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I'll just go with the... You do it subconsciously. You just choose the one that you identify with the most right off the bat. And that, for me, was invisibility. I'll, I'll go with uh, shape-shifting. Shape-shifting? Nice. Yeah. That was that was my second choice. Nice. Choose a distinguishing feature. Uh, Obviously horns. I like trail of slime. That's a good one, too. I like trail of slime. That looks nice. Um... Choose how your monster moves. Uh, even though it has <laughs> wheels, I think it flies. <laughs> <laughs> they levitate menacingly. I think I'm gonna go with that one. They levitate men menacingly. Very nice. Oh, dude. Um, what are you? What are you afraid of, dude? Uh, I'm scared of being involved in a freak accident. <laughs> I'm. Uh, that's interesting. I'm afraid of creepy crawlies and vermin. Creepy crawlies and vermin. Yeah, both of them combined into one. Can we put up a picture of of Vermin Supreme, please, just to see what Adam's dealing with here. Yeah, just like a quick. Yeah, put it up. Like a quick, quick picture. Yeah, put it up, Adam. In the future, Butch. Butch is actually our editor now. Oh, Butch is our editor yeah. now. Yeah, put it up, Butch. <laughs> Butch will do it. Oh, uh, okay. Suck. All right, next. Now we got to figure out our age. Moving on, yeah. Now we get to know our age. It's we been years since I knew. Age based on your fro uh, three exactly years since I've known. So, um, <laughs> uh, fro yo choices. I've never had frozen size. yogurt. Never. I've never had frozen yogurt. So, um, actually, I don't think I have. We'll no, see maybe. how I do, Christopher Hudspeth of Buzzfeed. <laughs> I should, I should, we should tweet hey, at this all these was posted on, this was posted on my birthday, February 6th. Dude, they're going to know you're only 2017 years old. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Also, um, oh my God, that's really funny. The, the date and time, the num the number of views up at the top of the screen is actually my social security number. That's incredible. And wait, what? Look at that on screen right now, flashing on the screen, Butch is flashing our Home no home phone numbers and also numbers. our addresses. Get up on the screen. Home can, phone numbers and addresses. Can you believe this? Screen. That's great. That's what a coincidence, right? What an accident that accidentally just happened. It was a mistake. Come find the us. joke we're making is that it doesn't matter because no one watches these videos. Next, right. right? Choose a bowl size. I mean, 
obviously we got to go with the large. Yeah, what what kind of question is that? Uh, right. That's a bad question. Choose Probably a Froyo flavor. flavor. Um, like I'll take three purple sticks and a flower of, or two, please. Why why would you go with plain frozen yogurt? Like, what's the point of plain frozen yogurt? Just yogurt? That's pretty gross. If you want savory frozen yogurt, yeah. that's pretty disgusting. Um, I'll go with chocolate. Man, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with uh, go with strawberry. Hmm. Good choice. Choose Get another up. flavor. Choose another flavor. Remember, the everybody out there, this is we're trying to figure out what age we are. That's right. We're trying to figure out our age right now. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna do strawberry and uh, vanilla. I'm gonna do uh, chocolate and vanilla. Oh, nice! Definitely. And for the toppings, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chocolatey toppings. So, ooh, M and M's sound really good. I'm gonna go uh, cookie, do- cookie dough for sure. Cookie dough. That's a that's a good move. I'm gonna yeah. go with the M and M's though. Hmm. Oh, we get another, another one. topping. Uh, I'm gonna go with the M and M's. I think. I'm gonna go double on the cookie dough as well. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Just double and M. <laughs> another topping uh for my strawberry ice cream gummy bears that's that's a no doubt no yeah, no I'm, doubter i'm going with gummy bears too i love gummy bears on ice cream Me like too. actually so good yeah it's I, I hardly ever have it i don't have i don't um, you really go for ice cream to be honest god they got all the classics here raspberries strawberries blueberries pineapples popping boba <laughs> almonds brownie <laughs> boba <laughs> what is that uh Jeez, should we, should we do a quick Google search right now? Uh, big. I boba. think. Oh, I think those are like those little like tapioca balls that they put at the bottom of bubble tea. Uh. They're weird. They taste pretty good. Boba though. is a type of boba used in bubble tea. Oh, it's a type of boba, right? Unlike yes. traditional boba, which is tapioca based, popping boba. Unlike traditional boba. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the popping boba. You're gonna go with that? Yes. Uh, definitely for me, but brownie pieces. Good, good choice. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna go for my drizzle. I think I'm gonna go with uh, the chocolate syrup, the classic. Hmm. I I think I I'm gonna think... go even more classic here and go with whipped cream. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I was thinking whipped cream too, but. I just wanted some chocolate syrup. I got 28. I'm 28 years old. I, I am 17 years old. Great. So, well, I think we did really well there. My young taste buds haven't developed a palate for fully healthier options. Oh, so this is about... Wow. That's what this is about. This is it's ageist. Like, it's profiling based on how sophisticated the answers are, basically. Yeah. That's Christopher funny. Hudspeth is ageist, everybody. Yeah, come on, Christopher. He wouldn't hire an old person to to write him a to write him an essay. Yeah, Christopher, you suck. All right. Anyway, next. Next. Fill the bear, and we'll accurately a- accurately <laughs> guess your state and shoe height. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I think. So so the thing about this one. It's very, very specific, right? Like, that's very specific. This is a community member, too. So, like, he's drinking some of the Kool-Aid, too, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we're good at this sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so they're just, like... So they're overly confident about the fact that they're going to be able to guess this. How, though? Maybe... Because do you think, do you think we found a troll thing. one? Do you think that's possible? I don't know. I I don't know. This doesn't seem very outlandish. We're gonna get to some, some more ridiculous ones. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, choose a bear. I'm going. I'm gonna go with the bear. weird brown one that doesn't look like any of the other ones. Oh, with the like anime eyes. With the anime eyes. I'm going with the invisible bear. Uh, which one's that? The one in the top right corner. Oh. The bear that you know is you can just see his nose kind of. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I you can kind of see his one. paw, maybe. Yeah, I didn't even see that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go they, for that they're one. Trying to like hide it. It's weird. Weird. Um. All right. For my. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna stay. Uh, 
for the top, I'm gonna stay with the uh with the anime eyes theme and go with the no top emoji. Dude. I guess that's what that's supposed <laughs> that to be. That emoji kinda like scared me. <laughs> it was like, yes. <laughs> Like staring pretty, pretty intensely. There. There's like, like oh, all yeah. these like creepy oh, look, bears. Look at all these cute bears. It was just like, oh, just like two eyes like staring back at me. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with no top too though, because like, if my bear is gonna stay invisible, like if my bear is gonna win in like the bear coliseum, <laughs> I'm gonna need. Uh, yeah. He's gonna need to stay invisible as much as possible. Yeah. Um. All right. So for I me, I think. Wow, this is hard. There's a lot of denim going on here. Um, a lot of different types of denim. Yeah, I think he's got. So, so we have to keep in mind that he's going to be shirtless. So, I think shirtless with overalls is a good look. I, <laughs> no, I'm I'm thinking the pink jeans, honestly. Pink jeans, camouflage, yeah. just just yeah, just invisible absolute. hair with pink jeans. Visible pair of pink jeans walking around. Yep. That's like neat. J. Edgar Hoover on a Sunday afternoon. That's a on reference, a... kids. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Choose something to put on your head. My head or the... Has this always been in that tense? No. Has it? It hasn't. No. no they yeah. just recently started saying that it's... That it's... it's my head. Yeah. Yeah. So are they saying we're living vicariously through our bear now? I think we're the bears, yeah. <laughs> All, All right, right. so well, I'm going to use a... Obviously uh, dragon hat. I think I'm going to do a cowboy hat. Dragon and cowboy. Dude. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the cowboy hat. So to recap, we're uh, shirtless with a cowboy hat and overalls right I, now and the weird bear with the anime eyes. I, I, think, I think we're doing well. And I'm an invisible bear with pink jeans and a dragon hat. In a dragon hat. Invisible bear with pink jeans and a dragon hat. Yep. This is good. Choose an accessory. I think... Wow, this is difficult. Uh, for dude, you, it's pretty easy. Yeah, the invisible backpack, obviously. The invisible backpack for your invisible bear. Uh, for me, I think... Dude. Um, I'm going to stay with the rustic look and uh, go with a banana. <laughs> rustic. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. what what what's your height and shoe size? Uh, Everyone can see accurate, mine already. My accurate height and shoe size is five feet eight inches and size eight. And I will have you know that neither of those are accurate. Uh, I got five foot five and size seven, and I'll have you know that that's that's a hundred percent accurate. <laughs> that's that's it. He's that's they got it. Like five like who five. needs face reveal when you've got like that's Buzzfeed quizzes like. It's been 100% right. accurate every time so far. Yeah, people will be able to, like, just, just. Yeah. People will be able to know who we are by, through these quizzes. All right, moving on. Build, Build a, a perfect, perfect boyfriend. boyfriend. The joke for this quiz was that we are both straight men. Therefore, it would be highly preposterous for either of us to be in a relationship with another man. Oh, yeah. And a deep truth about you, um, Matthew Perpetua. Oh, this is this is Matthew Perpetua. Uh, Was that? We're a big fan of his work. Yeah. Um, he's uh he's part of Buzzfeed's uh Buzzfeed's uh Satan. Um, their their Satan department. Yeah. Their division where they investigate hell and other uh yep. other apocalyptic other things states. in the right wing. So. We have Matthew Perpetua is giving us build a perfect boyfriend and we'll reveal a deep truth about you. How tall would my perfect boyfriend be? Um, you know my motto. If you're not six four, then you're a bore. That's so I'm going with you gotta be over six four. And you know my motto. Under five seven and near asunder. Evan. <laughs> and yeah. Yep. Under five seven and you're a seven. What kind of body would he have? Obviously totally ripped. Totally ripped? You went with totally ripped? Yeah. I'm gonna go with big and brawny. What's the difference? Uh 
I'm confused. Well, totally ripped means that he's totally ripped, and big and brawny means that, well, you know. He's <laughs> big and brawny, anyway. of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, how old would he be? Dude, over 46 right now, calling it. <laughs> over 46? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if he's uh, not, if he's not, if he hasn't had, what's, what's it called? What's that you know, called? What's uh, that thing called where they like put a camera up your butt? Or is uh, that what they do? I don't colonoscopy. know. Colonoscopy? Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah. If they haven't had like 10 colonoscopies yet. They haven't had 10 colonoscopies. They're, they're not, not ready for you. Me. They're not ready yeah, for you. You don't me. want someone who's, who's taking chances with their, with their dietary health. Yeah, um, definitely not. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the 31 to 35 range. Mm. That's kind mm. of the range where people lose all of their hope. You know, from like 25 <laughs> I thought, to... I thought people lose you know, their hope like from 10 to like 80. From 10 to 80, yeah. That's like more of the broad range. But a lot of it drops out. From 25 to 30, people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm like, I can still get a great job and it's going to be great. And then it's like... Oh, yeah, well, I'm 30, but I got a whole life ahead of me. And then at 31, you're just like, ah, uh, well, it's the end. Nothing's going right. It's the end. And then, yeah, at 31, that's when you like, you know, you like, right. you settle down, you have kids, and then you just like slowly plan your death. Right. Um, what would be perfect boyfriend's occupation? What would be perfect your occupation, boyfriend? Big money finance job. I I wanted to go with that too, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, no job, no just, job very just very rich. Very rich. Wait, is that possible though? Like they're just like some some scrub who like who, whose parents are rich. Yeah, rich parents. I think that's what we're going with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm in for that. I need that. For money. me, I'm gonna go with a. Uh, uh, I want a big brawny, thirty uh, one year old. <laughs> Uh, six over foot 46. Four sh- chef. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be cool. Yeah, he's gonna be a chef. He'll be able to cook for me. Isn't that like an anime? Um, he's really just gonna be a cook. He's not gonna be a boyfriend. He, this, <laughs> this man is. This man is just my personal chef. A muscular buff man. Yeah. Wait, why he did just I happens. say that? <laughs> it's just that was just really redundant. Happens to be muscular and buff. Uh, what would your perfect boyfriend style be like? Um, Mr. Indie dude. I would go. Hmm. Crunchy granola. Crunchy granola hippie type. That's what you're going with? No, I think I'm going with sexy professor, dude. Sexy professor, dude. I'm going to go yeah. with. Uh, I'm going to go with a hip hop chef. I think a hip hop chef is a niche that hasn't been. Explore I, fully. I'm gonna Google hip hop chef right now. <laughs> Google hip hop chef. See what comes. See what comes up. Hip hop chef Aruni. Tell me. Tell me what you got there. All caps. The original hip hop chef. First result. Let's see this. The original. Let's give him some free. Some free. Uh, free publicity. Publicity. On, on this. Oh, dude. The Chef Ty is like no other celebrity chef, cooking up his unique style of hip-hop and food worldwide. <laughs> Dude, he has some pretty appetizing-looking food, I'm going to be honest. Pretty I think, cool. Except for right, maybe well, this back here. Well, it's real, so maybe he's my boyfriend. Is he 6'4 and big and brawny? Uh, he looks like it, yeah. He looks really big, dude. Really? I mean, he looks like he could be, unless it's just like camera tricks. Man, then, then I think we found my guy. Let's, Dude. let's keep going, though. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. We gotta find mine. Uh, oh god, I keep, I keep. Spying. Don't worry, don't worry. Editing magic will fix everything. All right. So what's his what's his greatest passion? I think for me this is very easy. It's food, obviously. Uh, greatest passion. Me and only me. Obviously. Me and only, nice. Obviously, you, only you me. And, you and only you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do <laughs> so, you hate? So he's like a fifty-year-old guy. With no, no, he's got no job. He's just rich. No job, just rich. He's a sexy professor, and he only cares about me. Sexy fifty-year-old professor who has no job, but is very rich and only cares about you. Uh, What does he hate, though? That's important. What does he hate? 
I think it would be ironic if he hated nerd stuff. <laughs> for me or for you? For you, for you. you nah, it's fun. not that that ironic. He's like a fifty year old dude. Yeah, but he's a professor type. No, he's just he just like kind of looks like a guy who could be a professor. Oh, he looks like a guy who could be a professor, but he's not really that kind of person. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah. how he looks. Style. Okay. Um my chef boyfriend hates uh um he he hates the patriarchy. I, I was actually. gonna go with that. Okay, uh go with the my boyfriend hates uh I would go with kids. I think kids is something that he like he sounds like the kind of guy who would just have this. Yeah, because he's like a child himself, right? Kids. So right, yeah. He's a yeah. giant man child. Okay. Sure. Nice. A random thing your perfect boyfriend does extremely well. Uh oral. <laughs> or or you went with oral. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I didn't even read the rest of them. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> read the rest yep. of them. <laughs> Your um, boyfriend shouldn't do cooking well. That doesn't make sense. Right? Uh, yeah, I think cooking is too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's up with that BuzzFeed? I, Come on. I think, uh, I think it would be best if he was, if he was really good at back rubs, but like, instead of like the back of like me, it's like the back of like, like a rack of ribs, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yep. Really good at like, like good dry rub seasoning of different styles of meats yeah anyway i agree um so for this next one uh um, sex style vanilla but not boring i like i don't care i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go with uh ruthlessly efficient (laughs) you went with ruthlessly (laughs) efficient yeah uh i got ambitious but insecure Except he nice. has no job and does nothing except for make no, love no, to no, me. No, no, that, no. That's what's about you. That's the deep truth about you. Oh, that's about me? I'm ambitious You're... but insecure? Hmm. See, for me, I'm adventurous but indecisive. Dude. I'm overwhelmed by lots of interesting and exciting options and feel pressure to experience everything before it's too late. As a result, I have trouble sticking with anything or anyone for too long. So yeah, basically this guy's out. Dang, dude. Hip hop chef is not lasting long. Anyway, all right, on to our next one. Now, next when one. I was curating this list, I thought this one looked really nice. It, it does. Sher- Sheridan Watson really knows how to tech up yes. a, a couple of little. Uh, and, uh, Good point. I, okay. I was trying to read it. All right, so read. let's see. Um,. So for this first one, I think it's fairly obvious what the answer is. Oh, wait for a me, second. anyway. Wait a second. Personally. All the text is upside down. What Dude, do you mean? How'd you do that? How'd you do this to my web page? I don't know what you're talking how, about. How'd you flip my text upside down, dude? I did not flip your text upside down, oh, Adam. This, you're, being, you're being ridiculous. I would never do something like that. Let's just take the quiz, okay? <laughs> okay, sure. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> um... For me, I think it's pretty obvious. I'm going to go with the two gay men feeding a baby. <laughs> hey, who said they were gay, you know? Yeah, I suppose they could just be friends feeding they a baby together. You're right. Yeah. That was wrong of me to assume. I'm going to go with the two lesbian ladies eating an apple. Hey, who said that they were lesbian <laughs> ladies? <laughs> that, was, that was the joke, Will. Come on, dude. Oh, okay. You were, you were yeah, piggybacking dude, I, off of me. All yeah, right. dude, I'm... For this one, for this next one, uh, I'm gonna go for the discount Neil Patrick Harris. Shrugging. I was gonna say I was gonna go for the d- discount Gordon Ramsby, Ramsby, Ramsey. Ram- discount R- R- Rorden Gamsby. Discount. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll each go. We'll choose the same choice, yeah. but but we'll just go for a different one. That's good. <laughs> like I was all just like alcohol, and it was just like I don't know. What do you, what do you <laughs> yes. want from me? <laughs> Alcohol, 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 alcohol. Oh, a lot of people drinking alcohol. I don't know. I'm going with uh, Jessica Jones. You went with Jessica Jones? Yeah, she's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Dr. Strangelove. 
Yeah, Doctor Strange is cool. Luke Cage is cool too. Iron Man is also Cage. cool. Incredible. Um. All right. So what do we got? We got. We got. I am going. Big Red Johannesburg. We got. With Jack Jordan, Nicholson. What's his Jordan name? Jordan. Z- zebra jack nicholson no what's his name <laughs> alicia keys no. <laughs> uh, bernie sanders amy, amy schumer and bernie sanders <laughs> um, i'm gonna go with uh i'm going with bernie sanders dude you're going with bernie sanders i'm gonna go with that girl from pitch perfect nice which which one is that just for reference Amy Schumer, why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, uh, I'm gonna go. With, uh, in terms of these, uh, these, I don't know. They kind of look like foods, but I couldn't. Yeah, I can't, I can't be sure. Yeah, can't we can't, really. Yeah, we don't know. We can't. I mean, for those at home, can't really read. Yeah. What's going on with these? I'm but, definitely gonna lay it down with the. The dirt water. Um, you're going with you're going dirt water. I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with moon diagram. I got katahe katate and heya. Nice. I got Well it looks like I got Manhattan. Yeah, I got like a nice city looking place. Should should we Google image search this? Uh I think uh so I'm gonna see I'm gonna do a Google search for that for that word. Um oh uh so apparently that word means Queens. I got Queens. I answer. got Staten Island. Staten Island, very nice. Very so, nice. I love Staten are we, Island. Were we trying to figure out what what New York City borough we would we would live in? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Dude. Okay. Sick. Yeah. All right. We got two Good. more now, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Next two. Um. Uh. So this one I thought was pretty funny because it's it's very meta. Right. Your knowledge knowledge of BuzzFeed quizzes oh, will reveal what this... kind of cheese you are. Yeah. So now, as you know, I've done quite a few. Buzzfeed quizzes. Right. All right. Um, now, this first one, build a salad and we'll tell you if your house is haunted. This is certainly... Uh, yeah, this is real. Uh, real oh, quiz. I, I, I got it wrong. I also got it wrong. I thought it was a real Buzzfeed quiz. Um, the next one, I know for a fact, yeah, is a real we, Buzzfeed We quiz. took this one. We we've, we've both taken this one before together in our in our free time we've we've taken that yeah build a pizza and we'll tell you which Aussie university you should go to yeah this is um real. trick question it's not real but it's similar to a real one it is real it was real yeah I got it right what kind of insect what kind of insect are you you, you just made real. that up no you made it up it's real what I, mean, I was right <laughs> yeah who no one's made that <laughs> that seems weird yeah. No, no one's made it. Uh, can you match the Simpsons character to their feet? I don't uh, think so. No, I don't right? think that's real. What? Uh, it, I'm upset. Why? Should not. That shouldn't be real. You can only bake a cake if you get ten out of ten on this quiz. That seems very like oppressive. Made it up. Ah, what? It's, it's real. real. It's real. Dude, that's oppressing your... my rights to make a cake. That's why is that a thing? I don't know. All right, pick your favorite nut, and we'll tell you what your future career will Dude, be. Dude, this is real. What? It has to be made up. Okay, I was right. What? Good. Yes, very good. Very good. These um, random questions. These will random questions will let us know how much of a. <laughs> you made. Um, you made this up. I'm gonna say that one's real. Yeah. What? Yeah, I was right. It's real. What? Yeah. Okay. Th- this next one's real, for sure. For sure, it's real. What? It's fake. Oh, come on. What? Come on. Can you de- guess it based on their browser history? No, nah, that's made up. Yeah. It's got to be made up. No. no! I got two I got out of ten, ten right. right. 
Parmesan. Parmesan, nice. Two out of ten, Parmesan. I got four out of ten, Camembert. Camembert? I've never even heard of that. Like a brie. Hmm. It's uh, it like a brie. It it's uh, like a melty melty cheese. So uh, all right. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go to the last one, our, my last uh, selection from the curated list of BuzzFeed quizzes. Are we ready? Are you a dumpster, fire, or dumpster, fire? All right. By Cat Angus. Cat Angus. What a name. I agree. All right. I agree. All right. So this one, I thought, like, what could this possibly be about? This could only be about something. Like, this could only be good. Right. You know? Roast some marshmallow. Let's do it. You're late for an appointment. Why? I. Time is an illusion. No. <laughs> uh, um. T- uh, for me, it's time is probably. An it's probably none of the above, because for <laughs> me, it would be like I forgot. Right. Um. So I'm gonna go with I don't know. I'm just always late. I'm I'm going with time is an illusion. Time is an illusion. That's a good choice. Yeah. You've been dumped. What was the reason? I. Uh. I threw up on their mom. You threw up on their mom. I'm gonna yeah. go with I don't get dumped. Would that be grounds for that. being dumped? I do the dumping. <laughs> do we- I I do. Nice. You've been fired from your job. What happened? I... I... I'm gonna go with I punched someone. I made a mistake that cost the company money. Good. That's a good one. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so, like, none of these are real. I don't think, like, this is true for anyone. Like, I I don't understand who this quiz is for. Do you think, like, people actually take this and, like, and, like, actually enjoy it and be like, oh, yeah, all right. So, okay, yeah, here we go. So, I'm in a fight with someone. What's it over? If I were in a fight with someone, let's think of what would hypothetically happen if I was hypothetically in a fight with someone and what the hypothetical reason might be, not knowing the circumstances. Um, uh, probably, I was probably neglecting them. Yeah. That's probably what it was. I'm gonna have to go with that too. Nice. Yeah. You're broke. What did you spend all your money on? Definitely, uh, makeup. Yeah, I'm a novelty t-shirts kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I feel like I need more novelty t-shirts to be honest too. Yeah. Uh you're getting dragged online. I hate it when I get dragged online. Yeah, dude, like pick me up for once. You yeah, know? that's the worst. All right, what did I do to get dragged? I got in a Twitter feud with Keemstar. You got in a Twitter feud with, with Keemstar. Nice. Um uh I'm, I'm a, a woman, woman with, with an, an opinion. opinion. That's a good one. Me. Uh pick an emoji. What's it, what what emoji do you like here? Dude, you know I'm gonna have to go with my my man. The plum. What? I, I went with the plum or the eggplant, whatever it is. That'd be an eggplant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um I uh I have always been known to keep it one hundred. So I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Nice, dude. What'd you get? Uh I got fire. Dude. You are absolute fire, my friend. You're passionate, determined, and everyone is drawn to you because of the light you give off. Sometimes your raw energy can be a bit overpowering. It may drive people away. For the people who know how to tend to you properly, you'll warm their hearts forever. Why? Why? What does that even mean? <laughs> I, I got dumpster. You got dumpster. Very yep. good. I got. Very I good. get a lot, a lot of garbage thrown at me. Sometimes it seems like all I do is deal with other people's trash. And they know I can handle it, and I don't spread negativity to people. I help make the world a little bit brighter somehow. 
and everyone appreciates me for it. And together, we combine to create a dumpster fire. That's good. Yeah. I feel I think that's a, that's a nice place to end. Yeah. This, this episode of uh BuzzFeed quiz unhappy refrain part unhappy 6 BuzzFeed quiz You cut out com. you cut out um, there. What what reaction do you think we should give this? I'm I think I'm going to give this a yas reaction. A yas out of Oh, I can't. I have Gosh. to log in. Well, Oh wait, we that's get... unfortunate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this, you know, a, an eggplant out of ten, honestly. Give it a what? Eggplant out of ten. Eggplant out of ten. Very good. Yeah, fun, fun times with. Fun times, always very good. Jumbo, uh, Jumbo really Ryan. happy that. Um, I mean, we were visited by death. Um, mm -hmm. death, death showed uh, up. Yeah, there was um, so many friends along the way. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna miss such an, inc an incredible journey. Yep. So I'm very glad that we could share that with everyone, and uh, it's uh, we'll we'll see you on the next episode of uh, um, Buzzfeed quiz taking quiz time Buzzfeed dot com slash katangus part slash dumpster or fire or dumpster fire part two next year 